What's up, Nesco Nation? Welcome to another episode of Higher Side Chats. I'm Casey Gillespie. For today's episode, we're going to get to know the trainees that make up the inaugural Leadership Academy class. In case you haven't heard, the Leadership Academy is a brand new NESCO initiative, a program that is open to both internal and external candidates. The purpose of the program is to develop the next leaders of the organization by providing experience and training in recruiting, business development, and branch management. The belief is that individuals that come out of this program with that experience in the three key areas of our business will be prepared to take Nesco Resource to the next level. All right, first up we have uh, Ryan Smith. Uh, Ryan, you want to kick us off and just uh, tell us a little bit about your background before you came to Nesco? Yeah, uh, well, I'm from uh, Newcastle, Pennsylvania, which is about 45 minutes uh, north of Pittsburgh. And uh, from there, I uh, Graduated from Slippery Rock University of PA in uh, May of 2019 with a degree in uh, business management. And uh, from college, I uh, went on to do my internship at Infosys Management Corporation, which is actually headquartered in Akron, Ohio. And uh, I was there for about three months uh, during my internship. And then they offered me a supervisor position at their branch in Newcastle, Pennsylvania, which I held for about a year before joining uh, Nesco Nation. All right. Awesome. Awesome. So just curious, you know, when you were going through the interview process, uh, what was it that really appealed to you the most about the, uh, the Leadership Academy? Uh, what appealed to me was uh, just the direction that uh, Nesco was, is uh, looking to head into w- with regards to expanding and building uh, successful leaders uh, throughout the company. And uh, this program is just giving me the ability to learn a business uh, consisting of recruiting, different metrics on how we make money, and the sales aspect, and uh, the development of better people skills. And uh, so when I actually do get put in that branch manager role, I'm ready to coach and lead a successful team. All right. Awesome. Awesome. So, so far, so been here about two months now. Um, What would you say has been the most interesting thing you've learned up to this point? Uh, The most interesting thing that I've learned so far would have to be all the detail that's going into recruiting, uh, which is consisting of the conversations you're having with candidates, the submittal process, and just always having that constant uh, contact with the candidate to make sure both sides are on the same page. And, uh, for example, my first week I had a – an example where I uh, didn't have that contact. I went a couple of days, you know, without uh, checking in on them. And ultimately I lost that candidate and we weren't able to uh, place them. So, and I just noticed also with the uh, recruiters, BDMs, manager within the branch, uh, branch, they all have to be on the same page in order for them to be successful. Big time. Yeah. I really got to work together. And uh, again, like you said, I mean, I think when you're on the outside of the industry, you really have no idea everything that entails into it. So it's good. Um, so what has been, would you say, your favorite part of the experience so far? Uh, my favorite part of the program is just getting to learn uh, different information about the staffing industry because uh, I came from uh, telecommunications, so I, I didn't really know much about uh, staffing. So uh, just being able for, the, for these first two months, uh, just learn about it and uh, just come into the office, uh, whether it's uh, recruiting or just taking a step back and looking at the company as a whole, I think has really helped me. And also being able to connect with uh, different leaders throughout the company to help broaden my knowledge and to also get some helpful feedback on uh, different things I can maybe implement when I become a branch manager and just different things that they've noticed throughout their time uh, with uh, Nesco. Awesome. Awesome. So now I'm work question now. So what are some of your interests, maybe any hobbies that you have outside of work? Uh, Some of my interests include uh, basketball, football, and golf. I'm a big Steelers fan. I know being here in uh, Independence, Ohio, I'm not really the most popular uh, person when it comes to uh, my sports team. So I'm a big Steelers fan, but I do like LeBron. So I I know a lot of people out here in the Cleveland area like him. And uh, I love playing basketball. I actually collect sport cards uh, on the side and also uh, playing fantasy football. And uh, during the weekends, I like uh, spending my time with my cat named Snickers and uh, hanging out with uh, my girlfriend named Jenna. And uh, we really enjoy, uh, like I said, going out to eat and uh, just enjoying our time. All right, very good. And yes, you are very, very brave as a Steelers fan being in Browns country there. So <laughs> that's awesome. Um, and then, and lastly, so as a whole, I mean, what, what are you hoping personally to get out of this experience? Uh, I'm just uh, hoping to become a better leader and I'm just extremely excited to have the opportunity to learn and uh, to move into my own branch and just go from the ground up. I know uh, 
going into the recruiting phase that I'm currently in right now. Uh, it's going to help for when I'm uh, have my own branch here to maybe find recruiters and BDMs that, you know, fit uh, my style, but also I uh, have a good uh, work ethic and good work background to uh, fit in uh, with the NESCO Nation's culture and everything. So I'm just trying to each day soak up as much information I can from the other leaders and people within the organization to help my understanding of the company and what I can become to become that better leader uh, moving forward in the future. And uh, while going through this program, I'm able to uh, generate ideas on how and uh, what to implement revolving around sales and different recruiting uh, tactics uh, within my branch someday, which will be here in the near future. All right. Very good, Ryan. Well, uh, well, awesome. Thanks for spending some time with us. And uh, hope you all got a chance. I'll enjoy getting around a little bit. All right. Thanks, Ryan. Yep. Thank you, Casey. Okay. All right. Up next, we have uh, Marie Clark. So, uh, Marie, why don't you go ahead and start us and uh, tell us a little bit about yourself before you came to Nesco. Sure. Um, I got my bachelor's degree from uh, the University of Akron, which is where I'm from. Uh, I was in mass media communications. And then uh, I have an extensive uh, background in the service industry doing uh, bartending. And then also right out of college, I worked at a small IT firm and kind of worked my way up there. I started as an executive assistant and then did some office manager work and then eventually uh, did uh, an operations manager role. All right, very cool. So as you were going through the, uh, the interview process, what was appealing to you the most about the, uh, the program? Um, I would just say that I really liked that this program was going to give us the opportunity to be, you know, trained on um, recruiting and sales as well as management before taking on the branch manager role. I feel like, um, you know, it'll provide a good foundation to, um, you know, for, for the leadership role that I would have at the end of the program. So I feel like I could, you know, perform that role well. Yeah, awesome, awesome. So, so far, um, you're two months in. Um, what would you say has been the most interesting thing that you have learned so far? Um, I think that I did not know that the staffing industry was so based off of relationships. So that's definitely something that, um, you know, I, I wasn't aware of before coming into this, into NESCO, uh, that, you know, it's not just placing candidates with a job and, and it's over and done. It's actually about building those long lasting relationships. Yeah, big time, big time. And so to kind of go off that, what would you say so far has been your favorite part of the experience? Um, I think just going off that last point, um, building the relationships with the candidates has been, you know, so enjoyable for me. Um, getting to know people from so many different backgrounds has been so interesting and um, it, it makes the job so much more fun when, you know, you connect with candidates on, you know, a, a deeper level. Yeah, I, uh, I could not agree more with that. Um, so non-work question now, uh, what would you say, what are some of your interests, hobbies outside of work? Um, I'm pretty simple, you know, um, family, friends, um, always love to spend time with them and, you know, uh, TV, movies, I love um, live music, so seeing concerts and bands live has always been something I've really loved, as well as um, stand-up comedy. I like some stand-up comedy as well, so those are some of, uh, some of my interests. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Um, and then just to go ahead and close it out, um, what would you say is, you know, ultimately, what are you hoping to get out of this experience for yourself? Um, you, you know, I, I really hope to, you know, be a great leader by the end of the program. So that way I can lead a team um, of recruiters and BDMs who can be successful. And, you know, I've only heard amazing things about Nesco prior to coming here and now that I am here. So I really just want a, a long lasting, uh, successful career with Nesco. Um, yeah, that's it. Awesome. That's awesome. Well, great. Well, well again, uh, for everybody out there, hope you had a good time getting to know Marie a little bit. Uh, Marie, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much, Casey. Okay. All right. And now we have uh, Demar Sheffy. Um, so, Demar, if you want, uh, tell us a little bit about your, uh, your background before you came to NESCO. Well, I have a pretty interesting background. I have I obtained my law degree from Western Michigan University Cooley Law School, and I didn't necessarily go into practicing law, and I wanted to help the community a little bit more, so I went in and I started substitute teaching with Cleveland Metro School District. 
Okay. All right. Very good. So, you know, you know, so you're exploring different opportunities here and through that, and then so you, you come start interviewing through Nesco. Uh, what was, what was the thing that really appealed to you the most about the program leadership Academy? Um, it was actually the person who called me, which was Casey. So Casey called me and I was in the midst of doing servant leadership and identifying what my leadership background was. And when I mentioned servant leadership to Casey, and John Maxwell's, um, at the time I was reading his book, 15 Laws of Invaluable Growth, uh, we kind of connected and bonded over that. And um, as me and Casey kept talking throughout the whole process, I realized that Nesco had a culture of servant leadership. And I wanted to be a part of a culture that utilizes servant leadership from all the way down to all of its employees. Awesome. Yeah, I still remember very well that that's sticking with me, that, that focus on servant leadership. And uh, I myself have uh, I've read some good stuff from John Maxwell. So awesome. Awesome. So two months in now, Damar, um, what would you say has been the most interesting thing that you learned up to this point? Oh, man, um, the leadership development aspect of this program has been amazing. I've learned from you yourself, Casey. I've learned from the owner. I had a sit down meeting with Paul. He's the area manager in the Ohio area when it comes to professional side. So just learning leadership and just learning the company policies and it just goes back to servant leadership. Always being able to apply to know that if I'm speaking to the customer or the client or one of my colleagues or other employees. And I've also enjoyed that during our weekly leadership meetings with other people, um, other leaders have been just warm or arm opening. Amy, Jennifer, everyone just here just to help. Okay, very good. Um, maybe answered my, my next question already, but I'll, I'll still ask it anyway, just in case or something else. But um, what would you say has been your favorite part of the experience so far? Um, outside of what I said before, I love the fact that I can talk to people and help them find jobs. So the candidates who I've already have placed in work have been rewarding. They've been excited. When I reached out to them, they really wasn't working. And it seemed like I was a godsend to them when I was able to place them somewhere. So just being able to place somebody or submit the candidate to a job and then working with candidates to try to get them through that process. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. It's a, it can be an extremely rewarding feeling um, when that happens. It's awesome. Um, so I'm going to shift to a non-work question then. So what would you say are some of your hobbies, main interest outside of work? Oh, so currently um, I just finished last week my book. I just wrote a book and now oh, wow. it's going to do the editing process. Thank you. It's going to do the editing process right now. So I'm hoping for a November 1st release. Um, also leadership development. I'm still on track with that. Have a leadership coach outside of work and we work on setting goals and making plans to execute the goal. Um, so hobbies will be leadership and perfecting that. Um, and also writing the book. So those are some of the things I'm working on as we speak. Okay. Can you, uh, can you tell us a little bit about what the book's about? So the book is going to be twofold. It's a retelling of my life up until this point of wow. my success and failures and also how I found servant leadership and how I'm applying servant leadership and how I have been applying servant leadership throughout my entire life. That's awesome. That's awesome. I, um, really, really good. Um, and then just lastly, uh, Damar, what would you say, you know, what are you ultimately hoping to get out of this experience with Nesco? So me and you, we have an inside joke that um, I thought my resume before we met was like the all-time greatest resume. <laughs> and now I realize that it was a jack of all trades resume, which kind of can get overlooked in certain situations. So I thank you for not overlooking it. <laughs> um, so at that time, I would say I was a young professional, but I've come to realize that I was just entry level. And also that I hope in this program solidifies my place as a young professional so I can continue to build up the, the ladder of success. Awesome. Awesome. Well, uh, well, thanks, Tamar, and I hope you all enjoyed getting to know uh, Tamar a little bit more. Thank right. you. I appreciate it. Well, I hope you all enjoy getting to know our first group of Leadership Academy trainees. For more information on the program, please visit the dedicated page on Nesconet or feel free to reach out to me directly with any questions. Thanks for tuning in for another episode 
of Higher Side Chats and have a great day.